our goal is to make um, a, a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. And uh, we've also designed it using the same discipline that we use in designing the car, which is to say to, to design it for manufacturing uh, such that it's possible to make the robot at, in, in high volume uh, at low cost uh, with high reliability. We to do it from a governance standpoint because we're a publicly traded company with one class of... So, you know, now there's still a lot of work to be done to uh, refine Optimus and improve it. Obviously, this is just Optimus uh, version one. A little bit more what we've done over the past few months with the bot and just walking around and dancing on stage. Uh, just humble beginnings. Um, they're missing a brain. They, they, don't, they don't have the, the intelligence to navigate the world uh, by themselves. And they're, they're also very expensive um, and made in low volume. Um, whereas uh, this, this is, Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in, in very high volume, probably ultimately millions of units, um, and I, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. Okay. We then deploy on the robot. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. And Something that we'll good. like try to nail down in a few months, over the next few months, I would say, um, to perfection. This is the, this literally the first time the robot has operated without a tether was on stage tonight.